Hi everybody. So in this video, I'd like to do a review of the Power Ranger Lightning Collection Red and Yellow Swap 2-pack. So, alright, this is a weird thing. Um, so it's from a story in the comic books where the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers had to swap their powers. I'm not familiar with the story. I don't really read the Power Ranger comic books all that much. I just read the comic book storyline with Lord Draken from many years back. And then I read the uh, Ninja Turtle crossover because um, I'm a huge Ninja Turtles fan. But um, honestly, this sounds pretty crazy. But I mostly bought this two-pack for this helmet. So this is the corrected Red Ranger helmet and it fits beautifully on the original Mighty Morphin Red Ranger Lightning Collection figure. So uh, this two-pack was on Hasbro Pulse for I think $42 or $44 and yes that is pretty much the main reason that I bought this two-pack. Now, don't get me wrong, I still wanted these other figures. I wanted to check them out. I wanted to see what they were all about. But mostly, it is for this corrected helmet, and it looks great. Um, I, uh, I did heat up the helmet and the net peg really, really good just to make sure there wouldn't be any issues or problems. But honestly, it popped on pretty good. Um, and I am very, very happy with it. Um, it's just, it's so great to have this, you know, this figure finally looking better. Um, that original helmet, um, let me see if I can dig that thing out. I have, I think I know where it is. Uh, should be able to grab it somewhat easily here. And let's see if I can get it without knocking down figures. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I actually tried to customize mine. It was very, very hard to do. Um, so I actually painted in the white. Um, it was really hard to get the white paint on there. So this white paint wasn't even there before. Um, but even the shape of the helmet isn't right. Um, and you can see like trying to get the white paint on there. It just... Yeah, this is so much better, and I'm just much happier with my Red Ranger figure now. So there he is. Um, but actually, I guess I should, I should kind of move him out of the way right now because, yes, the Red Ranger helmet is the main reason that I got the two pack. But of course, the figures that actually come with it is a male version of the Yellow Ranger and a female version of the Red Ranger. So now we have a Red Ranger female body and a Yellow Ranger male body. And I thought that was just cool. Like, it, it's something different. It's something kind of unique for, you know, a Mighty Morphin fan. You know, it's just something cool to have, I thought. Um, you know, a lot of people were criticizing this as you know, not canon to the show, which it's like, eh, whatever, you know, doesn't, doesn't really matter. I mean, it is something that kind of happened in the comic books, not completely made up, like some of the stuff they're coming out with, but I won't get into all that. Um, and then a lot of people are complaining about the windowless packaging, uh, you know, not being able to see the figures in the packaging and all that. Um, I was going to show the packaging and I was like, you know what, there's already a lot of reviews on YouTube for these figures. I don't really need to show the packaging. But for me, like, you know, I think that these are Hasbro Pulse exclusive, or at the very least, I'm pretty sure these are like an online exclusive. So to me, it's like, if you're buying something online, you don't get to see it ahead of time anyway. So, like, what's the difference? You know, like, if you can't see the figures in the packaging, and you're buying it online, you don't get to see them ahead of time anyway. So if there's a problem with them, you get them in the mail from wherever you ordered them from, and you just got to send them back and get a refund. I mean, it stinks when there's a problem with them, but it's not like, you know, I totally understand when you're in a store, you know, and you can't see the figure in the packaging, 
that's a problem. You know, that I totally get. Because it's like when you go into like a Target or a Walmart and you want to see the figure that you're buying and you can't because it's in a windowless package, a plastic free package. And it's like you literally cannot see the thing that you want to buy and you're right there in person looking at it. That stinks. Like that is no good. But when you're ordering it online, you know, you're basically ordering it sight unseen, uh, unseen anyway. So it's like, eh, you know, there's a problem. Then you just got to unfortunately send it back, get your money back. Um, I bring that up because a lot of people are having issues with this two pack. Uh, I believe the story is that they have like switched factories or they're going with a different factory in a different country, something along those lines. Um, I noticed some issues pretty much right away as well. Um, the issues with mine have not been nearly as bad as some other people. So I do feel bad for people who are having issues. Again, for me, the most important thing was that Red Ranger helmet being in good shape and it totally was. So that was like, you know, that was number one thing for me. Uh, my Yellow Ranger figure, um, in the packaging, uh, the arm, the right arm here, um, it was actually completely detached at the bicep. So this part right here was completely just detached and loose in the bag. Because these come in little, like, tissue bags. Like, little paper bags. So that was not good. Uh, but I just heated it up really, really good. It did take quite a bit of heat from the hairdryer. But I just heated it up really good and popped it back on. And it seems to be fine. Um, you know, the joints are just, like, kind of... They just feel kind of, um, like, gummy. Um, the drop-down hips, they did take a while to just kind of get them just right. Like, you kind of have to, like, push them as you move them. Like, you kind of have to push them up and out. So, it it is kind of weird to get used to it. Um, but my legs are not loose. Like, how a lot of people are having really loose, uh, legs with these. Um, I'm pretty happy with my, uh, male Yellow Ranger figure, all in all. Um, you know, the helmet looks really good. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying you can use this as like, if you want to do a, uh, you know, a, a Zhu Ranger, a, a Super Sentai team, because of course on, in the uh, Japanese version of the show, the Yellow Ranger was a male. That's why in Mighty Morphin, the Yellow Ranger didn't have a skirt. And that's a cool idea. Like, you know, that's, that's, a, that works. Um, you know, the only problem is you'd have to buy a whole nother set of MMPR figures. Um, you know, which technically I do have, I have a, I have two sets. So I basically have like a season one and then like a season like 2.5. So I have, you know, like the original Rangers with the green Ranger. And then I have like the new Rangers with the white Ranger. I do have that set up. So I guess I could technically do that if I wanted to. Um, but no, like, I don't really need that. Like, I don't really need a Zhu Ranger set up in my collection. Um, I loved the Super Sentai. I mean, I watched it a couple times, like all the way through. And I thought it was fantastic. I just don't need it in my collection. Um, what I'm doing with this male Yellow Ranger, I really have no idea right now. Um, I just think it looks really cool. Um, I just think it's neat. It's just neat to have something different, something kind of unique. Um, so I don't know. I mean, in my own kind of head canon, I'm just going to consider it to be just like an alternate universe, you know, Ranger. It's just a male Yellow Ranger who knows who it is, I have no idea, and, uh, yeah, it's just a fun figure to have. Um, as far as the female Red Ranger body goes, now, I have the metallic Red Ranger helmet on here. Um, I suppose I could put this one on there. Um, I'm not sure if I can do this in the video. Let me see if this will snap off without heating it up, and it does not feel like it's going to. Okay, it just did. Nothing broke. That's good. Let's see. Oh, that popped right on. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad because, you know, this this helmet is, like, more narrow, more skinny. I don't think I did a great job customizing it, but it doesn't look terrible. I'm not sure. What do you, you know, put in the comments... Which one do you think looks better? Do you think the original one that I tried to paint or the metallic one? Because the original one is skinnier, so it might be in scale more. 
I guess I could always just remove the paint job that I did and just put it back to how it was originally. That might actually look best. But it, again, it's kind of neat having the, uh, the Red Ranger female body. It might look a little better with a skirt, but, you know, whatever. Because it's Trini, so Trini never had a skirt, so that's not a big deal. But I kind of like how I have it posed with the power sword and the blade blaster in, you know, sword mode. So that looks cool. Again, it's just like a fun, different kind of figure to have. Um, the knees do not, you know, the red on the knees is darker than the rest of the leg. So that's a little annoying. I mean, it's not terrible, but it definitely could be better. But again, like the, the, the joints on mine and stuff, like the elbow joints are like really skinny and fragile because it's, you know, it's a double elbow joint on a female body. So it's really, really thin and skinny. So I would be very, very careful with those elbow joints because they'll probably, you know, break if you're a little too rough on them. But, I mean, it's a it's a neat figure. Again, it's different. The power sword, you can see the difference in the power swords. Um, so the new power sword does not have as much detail painted onto it. Um, is it a little bigger? It is a little bigger. No, no, no. I guess it's about the same. I thought at first it was a little longer. Maybe it is teeny, teeny, tiny bit longer. But yeah, so they didn't put all the gold on the hilt. Which, you know, typical lightning collection. It can never be can never be consistent on anything. Um, but I do appreciate getting the uh, blade blasters in sword mode. That's nice. So we do get two of those. So, you know, accessory wise. Here's the other one. So we get two blade blasters in sword mode. So that's cool. We get, you know, we don't really care about these. But we have blade blasters in gun mode, which we have tons of these. And we do get them in holstered mode, which these we love. These we want. We want these to go into the, into the holsters um, because my original set... These are the uh, ones from the Legacy figures. So the Bandai Legacy figures, those are the Blade Blasters that I have in the holsters of my original MMPR Lightning Collection figures. So now that we have a couple of these, you know, that's great. Um, let's see. So what else did I want to do here? Oh, uh, more accessories. So we have uh, these blast effects here. These go for the power daggers. So we get another set of power daggers. And then we get this for the sword. So this just fits right over the sword, like so. So there you go. I mean, that's kind of a fun effect. You can use that with other weapons, other swords. So there you go. And then we get some fists. So here's, you know, fists for the male and female bodies. And then a karate chop hand for the female body. I feel like I'm missing a couple hands. They may have fallen out somewhere. They're somewhere. And then the human face sculpts. So these are another kind of uh, bone of contention with some fans. Um, I think, I mean, this looks, I mean, it doesn't look like Trini from the show. It looks like Trini from the comic books, which is what it's supposed to look like. Um, you know, I think it's a great head sculpt. You know, it just doesn't say Trini to me. But again, that's just because I know the show a lot more than I know the comic books. And then here's the Jason head sculpt. Um, again, you know, it doesn't look like Jason to me. It's definitely more the comic book kind of style. But this is a nice head sculpt, and, you know, I do a lot of customizing. If you've been watching the channel, you know I do tons of customizing with the Lightning Collection, with DC figures, and I know that I can use these two for something. Uh, I don't know what yet, but I will definitely use those two head sculpts in some sort of custom. So I will get my money's worth for this two-pack. You know, I've got these two figures. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet, but I like them. Uh, mine came out really well. I feel bad for people who are getting ones that are not coming out too well. It really is a shame that a bunch of people are getting ones with some major QC issues. 
I was able to fix a couple of the little issues with mine. I'm very, very happy with the new Red Ranger helmet. That's absolutely the best part for me. I'm very happy with getting the uh, Blade Blasters in sword mode and in holster mode. Uh, these are absolute must-haves that you can use with other figures. And definitely the human head sculpts. I mean, I can use these for customs, you know, and, you know, I can use it for a custom for a while. And then if I get tired of that custom, I can pop it off of one, put it on another. So it's great. Um, all right, so let me get rid of the female Red Ranger. I want to do just some quick comparisons here with the other Yellow Ranger figures, uh, just so you can see the difference in the yellows. So this is the original Yellow Ranger figure. And this is the one we got in the two-pack with Scorpina. So I don't know how well it's coming out on camera, especially because it's blurry. I think it keeps wanting to focus on Dragonzord back there. Um, but the original Yellow Ranger figure from way back when definitely is uh, a, a less bright, less shiny yellow. These two, the yellow is much, much brighter. Um, the, uh, helmets, I think these two, um, I think the helmets are pretty much identical. So the one that came with Aisha and this male version, um, I think they are identical, like, pretty much, well, I get, yeah, the, the, the male head is a little bigger, I think, maybe, um, but then the original one is is really different like the sculpt on it and everything's really different and of course the color is different um so you know definitely the the yellow color you know when you look at it in person it's a definitely a different yellow um but it's just cool like this is neat to have you know it's just you can almost just kind of you know again if you're a fan of just kind of just multiverse you know multiverse stories in general you can have here's trini Here's Aisha, here is, you know, some dude as the Yellow Ranger, and, uh, or this could be Jason, you know, you could go with the comic book story, so you could be like, alright, here's season one, here's season 2.5, and here's comic book Jason, and you have a multiverse crossover, and it's like, you have to have all these Yellow Rangers who get together, you can get Yellow Rangers from other seasons, you can get, um, you know, if I pan over, you can get Michelangelo from the comic books over there. He's another Yellow Ranger with the same powers. Like, how cool, how fun would that be? You know, you could have all these, like, MMPR Yellow Rangers, you know. Uh, so that's fun. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think of this two-pack. Um, uh, there's a lot of opinions out there about this two-pack. And, again, you know, I do feel bad for folks who are having some major QC issues. I'm sure that if you contact uh, Hasbro Pulse... Uh, you know, you can get a refund, but that's probably not what you want. I mean, most of us, I know how, how that goes. Like, most of us, we don't want our money back. You know, we want the figures that we spend our money on. Like, that's what we want. We want good figures. You know, a lot of times we don't mind spending the money. We just want the figures that we want. So, you know, don't take our money and then send us subpar figures. It happens all the time. It's been happening more and more. Um, and sometimes, you know, you get lucky like I did, I got a pretty good set here, um, and then other people are not getting good sets. So, uh, if you wanted this set, I hope you get a good one. Uh, hope that this, uh, review helped you out, and, uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.